Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Mind, Marie, keep out of the way, dear. Keep well back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, Mama. I'm afraid she's beyond repair. Elizabeth, but... give me a hand here, will you? Whoa! We'll talk about it later, darling. We're so very busy now. September 11th in the year of our Lord, 1801. This day, Marie found a new playmate. The kitten would replace the doll as her special friend, but Marie was bringing home much more than she bargained for. Hold it tight now, son. She wasn't by the stream. Now she knows she's supposed to stay close at hand. She was upset, Johan. She's had that doll of hers ever since she was a babe. Remember how happy she was when we reclaimed it from the ship's wreckage? Oh, I should have paid more attention to her. There's nothing I wouldn't do to get you back. And that's just what we're going to have to do. Give it back. How will we get it back without getting close to the mother? Now, that's going to take some thought. Can't tie it up. Wouldn't be able to get free. We'd be killing it. Can't just let it loose. It would wander off. Yes. I think this should work. Too deep for the kitten to crawl out. Yet the mother should be able to knock it over and get her baby. Do you think she's close by? I wouldn't be surprised if she was watching us right now. It won't be a minute before she comes, so let's get out of here. as sure as I am that a certain little girl who should be asleep isn't. Now, close your eyes. Well, our 
kittens are better down for the night. Are you expecting trouble? Oh, I would hope not. I'll be glad when the night's over. Well, Bruno, it seems this worked out just as well as we hoped it would. The kitten is now back with his mother. So, we can go about our business in peace of mind. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Franz, you were going to caulk the longboat today, hmm? Yes, Father. You might cut some wood, Ernest, and then uh, give your brother a hand. Where's Marie? Still sleeping. Well, the sun's pretty high. Is she feeling all right? She had a restless night. I, I thought I'd let her sleep. I'll check on her. Johan! It's not possible. Of course, that cat can climb practically anywhere. They almost live in trees. The mother. Where's the mother? He's in shock, dear. Is he gonna die? We hope he'll be all right, Marie. We don't know how deep the claws went, and then there's the danger of infection. This will help keep the fever down. What are you going to do? The only thing to do, hunt that cat down. I want you to understand something, Marie. You were wrong to bring that kitten back here. And we were wrong to keep it, even as long as we did. Mother is angry with us, Marie. She wants her baby back. Yes, exactly. Well, what she feels is understandable, but that doesn't help. We can't seem to give her kitten back to her. And we certainly can't allow her to attack us again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Franz, help your mother take care of things, will you? Yes, Father.
double back. Of course, what else would it do? Here, though. If it wasn't for Bruno, she would have come right in. Good boy, Bruno. She led me away and then doubled back for another try for a kitten. Did you hit her? I don't think so. I was pretty scared. And Ernest? He hasn't stirred. No better, no worse. Marie, what are you doing here? Why are you tying the kitten? So that it won't go back to the treehouse. So that it will cry and attract the mother. You've never tied it before. And it went back to the treehouse, didn't it? Marie, sometimes we have to make hard choices. Tying it means the mother can't move it. The kitten will die. We can only hope that the mother will chew through the rope. You're killing it. Well, that's possible. And if that kitten has to die so that we can live, then yes. The mother will stay with her kitten, never leave its side until there's no longer any reason to stay. And then she'll go away and won't bother us anymore. You saw what happened to Ernest. I'm doing this so the same thing won't happen to you and to your mother. Marie, it's not a choice I want to make. I'm doing what I have to do. It's just a baby. <laughs> Come on, Marie, we better go. No. Oh, Marie. I thought I'd let you know all the animals came back, even the chickens. That cat didn't touch so much as a feather this afternoon. No, I know. There is no malice in her attack. All she wants is a kitten back. What was hers and what was right? You know, Franz, that's the terrible part of all this? Well, good night. Good night, son. Well, he's resting comfortably. Good night, Mother. Sleep well, darling. You too, Marie. Good night. Time you were thinking of getting some sleep, little lady. I want you to stop blaming yourself for this. This is no one's fault. 
Look at Ernest laying there. Maybe he's gonna die. And that kitten. We're killing it on purpose because of me. Marie, anyone has the right to cast blame, it's Ernest. These things happen. They're a part of life. If Ernest... When Ernest gets better, he won't blame you. You'll see. Ernest, son. Oh, he's still in pain, but I think the fever's broken. Oh. How is he? I think he's all right, Franz. There seems to be no infection, and he's out of shock. Where's Marie? I'm going to take you to your mommy. Marie! Marie! Where could she have gone? Hey, I'm wrong. Say the same. No, you don't. 
Marie. Got enough pets for a while. It's only a turtle. Remember, turtles have mothers. Oh, yeah. Never again. <laughs> 